What's up guys, Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and today we're going to talk about something that spiders recently got viral for. It is their tarantula paws. Now if you're new to this channel, my name is Patricia and I put out tarantula videos every single week along with my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter which has more spider tips and blog posts and fun stuff about tarantulas. Um, if you would like to subscribe to that, you can subscribe to the video or you can visit the sign up link in the description. Just to kind of stay up to date on all the tarantula stuff I'm doing, um, I do also run a tarantula Facebook group called Tarantula Heaven, and I also do put out a tarantula magazine every two months called The Spinneret, so you can find all of the links in the description. So not too long ago, uh, tarantula's feet kind of went viral. Um, I believe this originated from, uh, I think I first saw it on Tumblr where like this, this close up of a tarantula paw <laughs> went viral. And then I think Buzzfeed picked it up and all of a sudden there were all these, um, all these great articles about tarantula feet all over the internet and i will say that even from what i saw the biggest arachnophobes couldn't deny how adorable tarantula paws actually are so today we're going to talk about the anatomy of a tarantula paw how they work and the kind of like the intricacies of them so I did some research and tarantula paws are actually more like claw tufts. So it's kind of like a cat or a dog paw, I guess, where it does have like a little nail and it is kind of surrounded by like this little cushiony furry part. And thanks to these claw tufts and like these dense pads of fur, um, they actually enable tarantulas to climb very interesting surfaces like glass. They can hang onto those pretty well um, and they can also go over like, they can go upside down. They kind of adhere to any surface. And now the claw tufts are actually, I think, more about tarantulas because not all spiders have them. And I'm going to share something that a researcher did say. Um, so this is from arachnologist Norman Plotnick from the American Museum of Natural History. This is what he had to say about claw tufts and what kind of spiders have them. So he said about half of the spider families have claw tufts. These animals usually have only two claws at the tips of their legs and they're usually hunting spiders who pursue their prey. Web building spiders typically have three claws or two paired claws like those found in hunting spiders plus a third smaller unpaired claw that helps them maneuver on their silk threads. And I also said that, you know, like all spiders do have the hair like um, structures called setae on their legs, but not all of them have the claw tufts. And now these claw tufts are actually what enable tarantulas, like I said before, to climb onto like surfaces like glass or their tanks or stuff like that. Um, so if you have a naughty terrestrial spider who likes to climb their glass, this is what enables them to do so. Uh, Platnik said when describing how this works, the claw tufts of these spiders provide additional adhesive properties, um, making it easier for the animals to climb. So even despite their heavy weight, they can actually climb up pretty easily. And now I want to share um, something that Jonas Wolf biologist at the University of Kiel in Germany, he said permanent attachment systems like glue are often much stronger and not reusable, whereas temporary attachment systems like hairy adhesive pads that tarantulas have can be used multiple times and adhere strongly enough to hold the animal, but the contact can be loosened very quickly and effortlessly. So I guess that's why they're, they're able to um, climb so quickly onto things like glass and like surfaces like that. And he actually explains this, and this is kind of fascinating, but this adhesive mechanism that the tarantulas and other spiders use to climb surfaces using their claw tufts um, is because of this thing called Van der Waals force, which is an electrical attraction between molecules that are very close to each other. Now you can't see this with the naked eye, um, but each individual hair in the tuft is actually, it's covered by hundreds of thousands of smaller hairs. Um, and there are about 600,000 of these little tiny hairs on their eight spider feet. And when it's adhered to a surface, it actually allows the spider to carry 173 times its weight, which is crazy. Larger spiders like tarantulas may even have even more of these little hairs. So I thought that was really interesting learning about the hairy pads on the tarantula's feet. Um, I think it's really cool. And um, as far as their claws, they actually do use these little claws for like climbing on things. Um, for example, Spidey right now, she has a mesh lid. Um, I am working on getting her a plexiglass lid um, because I really don't like how there are 
that it's mesh and I think that's pretty dangerous for her. I mean, I have tape around it so that she can't really climb under the mesh lid, but I still don't really like that there's a chance that she could um, because in the beginning, she actually did try to get on the lid and she succeeded and she actually used her claws to hold onto the mesh so that she could climb across the lid. So I've seen tarantulas do this before. Um, for a terrestrial tarantula, that's really dangerous. You want to avoid that. So if you have a mesh lid, you want to spider proof it with some tape. Um, and you also eventually want to change the, the lid to something more safe. But um, yeah, so they use these claws for like all really cool things. Um, and as far as the pads, like I've seen, I've seen Spidey climb on our glass and uh, it's pretty strong. It's if you've ever seen your tarantula do this, you kind of see the little the little tufts go against the glass. It's just so cool. Um, I think that tarantulas really kind of are like eight-legged cats. Um, I just see too much weird stuff from Spidey to think anything else. But anyway, um, I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, I think that tarantula paws are absolutely adorable, and I really love that that post or those photos went viral because I think that it allows people to see tarantulas and spiders in a different light and also as like very complex beautiful creatures they're not just like these eight-legged creepy things like they're actually like really mechanically complex and really beautiful and fascinating so anyway I hope you guys appreciated that little bit of info and learning about how tarantula paws work um, I hope to be covering more scientific stuff about tarantula body parts in the future so if there's any more I guess interest that you have as far as how tarantula's bodies work, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and would like to see more tarantula topics, please subscribe. And if you'd like to join my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter, you can sign up at the link below. I'm also putting together a tarantula magazine, which you can learn more about um, at the link below, as well as my Patreon page where I post more behind the scenes stuff. And you can also um, have a subscription through there to the magazine. But anyway, thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.